What's going on guys? It's your old pal Fish Ranger here back again. And uh, we are going to do a VHS update for February 4th, 2016. Which I got some pretty good tapes today. And, uh, but first, I got to address the elephant in the room. Uh, if you notice, uh, things are looking a little bit different uh, behind me. Yep, I did do some more uh, rearranging of my uh, VHS tapes, so... I might make another video showing uh, some of my new rearrangements, but for now, let's just get started with the update. So I got some pretty good tapes today, so we're just going to get started. First up is the only clamshell I got, and this is Dumb, Dumber, and Dumbest, an Idiot's Delight of Comedy, featuring the Three Stooges, uh, Red Skeleton, Evan Costello, Elmer Fudd, Jonathan Winters, Jerry Lewis, Burns and Allen, Lauren Hardy, and many, many more. Yeah. Here's the spine and the back. Comedy guaranteed to lower your IQ and triple your laughter. Also features Lucio Ball, Jim Neighbors, Red Skeleton, Jack Benny, Jackie Gleason, and much more. And... Yeah, this is a Night High 5 tape by Good Times. And it is, it's in color in black and white, and it's 118 minutes. And it says, If you think Jim Carrey is dumb, Robin Williams is dumber, or the Wayne guys are dumbest, think again. The current crop of screen zanies owe it all to the classic idiots and jerks who first occupied show business rubber room in Dumb, Dumber, and Dumbest. So, yeah, this is from Night's High Five, so... Obviously this was released to capitalize off the uh, success of the film Dumb and Dumber. And it comes in this really cool yellow uh, clamshell. Sticker label and no print date. And we can and we all know what this will have at the end. So yeah. And next one I got, this is a Mexican Spanish tape. This is the Mexican Spanish version of the Flintstones' Hooray for Holly Rock, Holly Rock, which this, which is titled Los Pica Pedra La Pigua Bravo por Holly Rock. Yep, this is a Mexican-Spanish tape. This is from Tycoon Tycoon Video and RTC Video. Yep, and here's the back. Yep. Yep, this is a Mexican-Spanish tape, like I said. Here's the tape with the sticker label, and no print date. And I did check this tape, and unfortunately this has no white screen of death on this tape. At the beginning, or at the end. Oh well. Still a really, still a really cool tape to have, I guess. Alright, so on to the uh, slip covers. I got two Maxell 8 hour blank VHS tapes. That's pretty, that was, that's really cool. I, w I will actually open up one of these later and uh, record something on them, on one of them at least. Next up are, next four are uh, bootleg tapes. First one's a bootleg copy of Fair Game. Uh, 1996 VHS. Front cover is very faded, as you can see. Just the sides, just the top and the back. Here's the fake vertical sticker label. No print date, and the recording tab has already been broken off. At the beginning, it and yeah, there is a piece in the reel on the tape. The tape still plays fine. At the beginning of the tape, it starts right in the. It starts right at a, at a preview for Ace Ventura when nature calls, and then there's a few other previews as well. And and then it has the FBI screen, Warner Home Video logo, Cheesy Shield, Films and Modified, Warner Bros. Purchase logo, then the start of the movie. And and at the end, and it does have the blue screen. And at the end, it has the blue screen of death, followed by the last few minutes of some other movie, and then it has a brief glimpse of the end credits to Junior and then it has the silent and then it has the silent white screen of death and then that's it. Okay. And the other three bullet tapes I got are recorded from the theater. 
First one's a bootleg copy of the Scorpion King. There's the sides, there's the top and the back. Yep. Here's the fake sticker label, no printing, and the recording tab. At the beginning, it has the blue screen of death for a few seconds, and it goes into the middle of the Universal Pictures logo, and then the start of the movie. And then, at the end, it has the first few seconds of the end credits, and then the blue screen of death. Yeah. Next one's a bootleg copy of Triple X with Vin Diesel. Here's the sides, here's the top, and the back. Here's the fake sticker label, and this has a new line error on it. No print D in the recording tab. At the beginning, it has the blue screen of death for a couple seconds, then it goes right, then it goes to black, to black screen, and then it goes to the Revolution Studios logo, and then the start of the movie. And then at the end it has the first few seconds of the end credits, and then it has the blue screen of death. So, yeah. Okay, let's stop. And the last bootleg tape I got today is another, my second bootleg VHS copy of Dr. Doolittle 2. I also have a bootleg of Dr. Doolittle 1. Sides, the top, and the back. Fake sticker label, and once again it has new line error. No printing in the recording tab. At the beginning it has a few seconds of blank screen, then it goes to the uh, blue screen of death, and then it has then it goes into the 20th Century Fox logo, and then the start of the movie. And then at the end it has the first few seconds of the end credits, followed by the blue screen of death, and then it goes back to blank screen. And then that's and then that's it. So yeah. The next the next three are Christmas tapes, and these are all uh, music tapes. First one is Neil Diamond the Christmas Special. There's the sides. There's the top and the back. Yep, and there's... Pause the video if you want to read the list of songs on there. Yeah. This is a Night Side 2 release by Columbia Music Video. Here's the sticker label and no print date. This one, I this one might have a silent white screen of death at the end. I'll have to, ch I'll have to check the end of this tape to see if it has anything. I got Johnny Mathis Home for Christmas. Here's the sides. Here's the top and the back. Again, pause the video if you want to read the list of songs on here. Yeah. This is a 1990 release by uh, CMB Enterprises. Sticker label and no print date. And, and the other one I got is Barry Manilow because it's Christmas. This one is still sealed. Just the sides. Here's the top and the back. The songs are the Christmas song, Jingle Bells, White Christmas, Because It's Christmas, and It's Just Another New Year's Eve. Yeah. This is a Nighttime One release by Arista, Arista Records. Yeah. This is still sealed, so... We are going to get this out of the shrink wrap. That was pretty easy. Here's the sticker label and there's no print date.
the next the next two are uh, Shakespeare uh, uh, related VHS tapes. First one is King Lear, starring Lawrence Olivier. Olivier. Uh, Br Brilliance is the New York Post. Ol Olivier's most monumental inter interpretations is the Times theater series. This is a 1984 released by Coulter. Here's the sides. Here's the top. And here's the back. This is 158 minutes. Sticker label and has a home has a homemade uh, end label on there. And else, and the other one I got is William Shakespeare's The Merchant of Venice. I'm sorry, Merchant of Venice. I'm sorry. From literary masterpieces with Lawrence Olivier and John Plowright. The classic comedy of love, vengeance, and sacrifice. Yeah. Sides, just the top and the back. And the film the film was originally from 1973, and this is a 1990 the film was a 1973 film by ATV Network, and this is a 1993 released by Live Home Video and ITC Video. So yeah. Here's the sticker label. Printed in the 34 week of Night Side 3 and has a good barcode. So this one I think will probably have the white screen death, static, and moaning sound at the end. Next one, A League of Their Own 2002 VHS. Yeah, this is pretty, yeah, this is a rare tape. There's the sides, there's the top, and the back. Yep, it's the, you can, if I can get to focus. Yep, you can see right there, it's the 2002 reprint. Yeah, pretty rare. It's rated PG in the US and Canada. Yeah, I know VHS beta opening preview Lover Night Time 1 has this tape as well. Sticker layout, which still says Night Time 2 on it. So this will probably still have the Clement Trisdor home video logo on it. Printed in the 14th week of 2002. Next one I got is. The blockbuster, I got the blockbuster version of Moulin Rouge. This one has a green uh, pre-played sticker. There's the sides, there's the top, and the back. Four rental from Blockbuster purchased on February 18th, 2002. Ink label, blue tape, and has this blockbuster sticker on it. And the Blockbuster end label. I'm not going to peel off the only we'll see what the print date is because uh, it'll most likely ruin the print date. So I'm not even going to bother looking at it. See right there, Blockbuster Preview Collection. Next one is a demo tape. The Night Tide 6 demo tape of Phenomenon with John Travolta. $100 million mega hit. Yeah. Here's the sides, here's the top, and the back. If you want to read the information, just pause the video. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Here's the vertical sticker label. The print is October. 26, Night Tide 6, and it does have the hologram sticker on it. Alright. Next one is a Universal Studios preview tape. Universal Studios Home Video 90-minute in-store reel 
1997 fourth quarter preview, which this has trios for A Simple Wish, Any Place But Home, The Land for Time 5 from Sirius Island, The Lost World Jurassic Park, That Old Feeling, and The Three Lives of Karen. Yeah, this is one of the in-store uh, retail preview loot tapes. Here's the sides, here's the top, and the back. Here's the sticker label, and it was printed in the 40th week of Night's High 7. Next one is Gene Wilder, Funny About Love, 1991 VHS. Everyone has a biological clock. Duffy Bourbons is about to go off. Yeah. Here's the sides. Here's the top and the back. He wants to be a family man in the funniest way. Former from Blockbuster purchased on June 30th, 1993. Sticker label and it has the Blockbuster labels on there and the end label. Printed in the 11 week of night type 1 and it has a moaning sound only barcode. So yeah. Next one is another copy of The Best of Times, 1986 VHS, with Rob Williams and Kurt Russell. Uh, this, my, copy, my, my, my first copy comes in a Errol's Video Club uh, rental case, but now I got a copy that's actually in the, in the regular slipcover. There's the sides, here's the top, and the back. Yep, it's 1986 VHS by Embassy Home Entertainment. Here's the tape with the sticker label and the end label. Let me peel back the end label to see if there is a print date. The, pr the print date is May 20th. 1986. I don't think you can see that, but that's what it says. May 20th, 1986. And, uh, my old copy of this tape did have the low pitch blast screen death at the end. I'm gonna have to check this copy to see if this copy is a low pitch blast screen death at the end as well. And, yeah, it says, I can barely see it, but it says EHE right there. Alright, next one's an MGM movie time tape. Love is all there is. Here's the sides, here's the top, and the back. Yep, phone's from Night Size 6, but this tape is from 2000. Ink label, print date is April 27th, 2000. The next four tapes are Tonight Show tapes. First one is The Tonight Show Comedians Volume 1. Today's Funniest Comics making their stand-up debut on The Tonight Show. Featuring Jerry Seinfeld, the, the, the late Gary Shanling, Roseanne, and many more. There's the sides, top, and the back. Yeah. All these four tapes are 2001 tapes by Carson's Production Group. Here's the ink label. Print dates are November 7th and December 20th, 2002. And next three are volumes 3, 5, and 8 of Classic Carson Moments. Uh, these are the only three volumes the store had, so why they only had these three, I'm not 
entirely sure, but whatever. Still could have them. So he, first one is volume three. And uh, more great moments with Johnny Carson, the king of late night. Featuring the world's top comics and uproarious Tonight Show moments. There's the sides, there's the top, and the back. And I'm getting blurry. Yeah. Ink label and no print date. I got classic Carson Moments Volume 5. Has the same tag has the same tagline and this one says featuring Charles Gronin, Shower with a Star, and an editorial from Floyd R. Turbo American. Here's the sides, top and the back. Yeah. Ink label, no print date. And the other one, and volume eight. Featuring comedian the the late the late Gary Shanling, actor Kevin Pollock, and magician Lance Burton's debut appearance and more. Just the sides, top, the back. Yeah. Ink label, no print date. So yeah. Next one is Francis of Assisi with Bradford Dillman and Doorless Hart. The spines, the top, and the back. And this is a 1961 film by uh, 20th Century Fox. Uh, the the film is a 1961 film, renewed in 1989, and it's a 20th Century Fox movie, but this was a... But this tape is actually produced by Ignatius Press. So I think this was like a Christian-based printing produced exclusively for a uh, church, actually. But it's a, a 20th Century Fox uh, movie. So, yeah, this is pretty rare. And it's, it's got somebody's address on the front. So yeah, this is pretty. So yeah, this one's. So yeah, this is pretty rare. So I decided to get it. Ink label and it does have a couple cracks right here, but the tape should still play fine. And no print date. Yeah. So, so yeah. Next one is Mary Queen of Scots. <laughs> Featuring Vanessa Redgrave, Glenda Jackson, Patrick McGuhan, Timothy Dalton, and Nigel Davenport. The 19th, the only thing more powerful than her claim to the throne were the enemies out to destroy her. Yeah. This is a universal release from Night Sight 8. This film, I don't, this film I think was, I think this is one of those never released to DVD films. It looks, I think, I think it looks like it. There's the sides, the top, and the back. This is a 1971 film, and it is rated uh, PG-13. And it is 2 hours and 9 minutes. Yeah. This, like I said, I think this might be a never-released-to-DVD film. So that's, what, so that's why I got this tape. Here's the sticker label, and this was printed in the 30, the, I mean, the 44th week of 1999. Yeah. The next one's an Embassy uh, Classic Collection tape. This is the 1985 VHS of Beauty and the Beast. The, uh... Yeah, this is the original 1946 version. Not to be confused with the Night Sight 1 Disney film. Or the uh, 2017 uh, Disney remake that comes out in a few months. Here's the sides. Here's the top and the back. Yeah. This film stars Jean Marius and Josette Day. This is a 1946 film. Yep, and this is a 1985 HS. Like I said. Tave is a reprint by Nelson Entertainment. Here's the sticker label, 
and no print date. So yeah, this will obviously have nothing at the end. The next one's an RKO collection tape from Night Side 2. This being John Wayne back to Baton in, mag in magnificent black and white. Yeah. If you remember, uh, back in December I picked up the uh, colorized version of the film of this film. Well, now I have the uh, ori now I have the original black and white version of the film. So, yeah, I, I can finally donate my uh, colorized version and keep this copy instead. Here's the sides, here's the top, and the back. Yeah, and this is a 1945 film. Here's the vertical ink label, and the printy is July 29th, 1998. Five put it in there. Now, forget about it. I'll for later. The next one is an MGM and Glorious Black and White tape from 1992. This being Romeo and Juliet. The 1936 version with uh, Norma Sharir and Leslie Howard. Yeah. And this is still sealed. There's the sides, there's the top, and the back. The best of the pre Olivier Shakespeare film says David Shipman of The Story of Cinema. Yeah. Film also stars John Barrymore. Edda May Olivier, Basil Rathbone, C. Aubrey Smith, and Andy Devine. Yeah. And this is a 1936 film, like I said. And, yeah, we're going to get this out of the uh, shrink wrap. Vertical sticker label. Print date is May 6th, 1999. So this is a much later reprint. And yes, this film is co-produced by Turner Entertainment. So this is a uh, one of the MGM films that Warner Bros. bought the rights to in 1999. The next one's a Shirley Temple 2001 reprint tape. I used to have this one a couple years ago, and now I have it again. And that is the 2001 reprint of The Bluebird. Yep, I finally got I finally have this one back in the collection cuz I used to have this tape but then I got rid of it and replaced it with the Night Type 5 VHS. And now I have a new copy of this tape. And yeah, I also have I I also have the 1989 and Night Type 5 VHS of this film, so I will do a comparison on three different versions of The Bluebird sometime in the future. Actually pretty soon actually. In fact, I might just do it in my next video, just for the heck, just just for the heck of it. Here's the sides. Here's the top and the back. This is a 1940 film renewed in 1967, and it's rated G in the U.S. and Canada. Yeah, I do know Video Lover has this tape as well. Here's the vertical ink label, and the print date is. December 14, 2001, and it's got CVC right there, so this is a Cana so th which means this is a Canadian copy, which is, which is pretty cool. And just like Video Lover's copy, this has the same opening as the Night Type 5 VHS. Next one, I finally got another Star Trek tape. This is Star Trek, the original and uncut television series, Operation Annihilate. 1989 VHS, episode 29 in the series. Here's the sides, here's the top, and the back. Original air date for this one was April 13th, 1967. Here's the sticker label and the end label, and the print date is the 
16th week of 1991. Yeah. Pretty sure this one will have the white screen death click until at the end. And last tape I got is a two tape set. And this is Laurence Olivier, A Life. British Academy Award Primetime Enemy. Yeah, this is a biography. He was a giant among actors, says Sir Alec Guinness. And The Greatest of the Mall stayed by Spencer Tracy. It's presented by, yeah, Enclosed, Complete Olivier film, Filmography. Here's the sides, here's the top, and the back. Yeah. This is from uh, some company called Public Media Video. Whoever that is. Here's part one, and here's part two, and And as you, you look closely, there are some printings on there, but I don't think these have print dates. Uh, tape 1 actually says C 21 05 11 11 182 93 EG. So. I think that could mean the 182, 182nd day of Night Side 3. And tape 2 reads B 21 17 dot dot 49 209 93 EG. So, that might, so I think that might mean the 209th day of Night Side 3. I could be wrong about that. And here's the complete filmography thing that it comes with. So, yeah. So that is my update and thanks for watching guys.